What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing a wonderful day today. Today we'll be doing a install video on Lexus ISs and GSs rear tow arms. So I'm trying this vlog style while driving. Probably not a good idea, but people do it, so why can't I? So I looked up on video YouTube to find like a video to help me or like just give me a general idea of what I'd be doing. And there is none. So I decided to make one. So recently I installed camber arms because I'm rubbing the rear. And it both adding that much camber, it caused my toe to mess up. So I need toe arms. So if you have that issue, then you came to that video. I hope that this video can just give you a general idea of what you're doing so you guys can get more comfortable while doing it yourselves and just so you don't have to mess up I'll mess up and go to my friend's house right now so we'll mess up so you guys don't mess up hope you guys joined the video I'm sorry if the quality is a little rough I'm recording on my phone today I didn't be on a huge camera today so I can't wait for this video hope Thankfully, you guys are watching, maybe the five of you that be watching this video, but let's do it. So as you guys can tell, it's been hours. This guy's getting kind of dark now. The quality got better because I'm actually using my camera this time. And I already got the car on jack stands and a jack because you don't want to see that you came here for the install of the toe arm, which should be right there. This thing would focus. There you go. That looks like to be the toe arm right here. Cause we got ours right here. Cause we got ours right here. Let's focus. I'm shooting a 50 millimeter. Not the best for filming. But that's our new one. And that seems to be the old one. So let's get this install going. So after playing around a bit, I don't know if it's the same on GS models, but figured out that this 19 millimeter does fit it. With little play, I tried an 18, but it didn't work. In the inside bolt, if this, oh my God, focus. Let me see if I can raise up the brightness. Yeah, let's see back there. Back there seems to be like a 19 as well. So let's try to get this arm off. It seems to be on my own like two of those bolts from what I'm telling, but I think there is a bolt inside there which will spin. Uh, you can't see Jack, I'm sorry. So that's the inside bolt. I'm assuming there's something in there that can spin. So let's see. How this works, I'm here to test it out and ruin my car before you can ruin yours. Sorry if not filming much, but surprisingly it came out a lot easier than I thought. So let me try to explain it. So there was a longer bolt inside, which is where did that bolt go? Right here. This bolt was holding on the inside bushing right there. I just took out the 19 mil. And it just came off. Like it didn't spin. Oosh, I'm sorry. It didn't spin or nothing. So I'm shocked. And then the top nut came out pretty easy. Top nut. And it came out pretty easy as well. Once I took it out, I just kind of hammered it. And it came out. Surprisingly, it was really easy. I say that. I jinxed myself. Well, so I'm not filming much. I'm just me by myself right now. So let's get these new arms in. Sorry for not showing much, but it is in. And as you can tell, it's dark. It gets dark here quick. I decided to use the OEM nut right here. Oh my gosh, focus. The OEM nut, because the other side didn't have a washer on the one that came with. It is nice and blue. I did have to use a jack to raise this up and down the rotor so I can get this one in. Adjust it and do the other side. Hey. So I got my different kit. 
I got my kit lens in to show you hopefully a little bit better. So I'm not be able to I might try to record again on the other side in case that V wasn't good. So that's the inner bolt right there. That's the inner bolt right there. Let's all the way down to that one bolt right there. Only two. Take a nut. Take a nut and a bolt is all that's holding it in. Let me try to record for the other side. Hopefully, you guys will get a better view. I don't want you guys to be confused. Alright, so I got a brighter light. Got the wheel off. Hopefully, I can show it to you better at like this. So. We're going to be removing this nut right there. And the bolt in there. Right in there. That's our stock toe arm. Hopefully, come out to the other side. And hopefully, you guys can see this time. putting everything back that's the factory one and I'm putting this back currently with right I'm putting that back in currently and this one this is the this is the or oh gosh this is the one the nut that comes with the Megan racings but I'm gonna use the OEM one just because this one doesn't have a washer so it just looks OEM looks like it just holds better I don't know I figured out bro Hey guys, so I hope that video was pretty clear. I try to record the best I can. Recording with one person is a lot harder. Oh, it's straight. It's a lot harder than I thought. So at the end of the clip, what I was trying to show you was how I adjusted it. What was, you just that middle, that big silver one to adjust it for in and out toe. And then you move the lock rings, just two rings on the side, the nuts technically closer away from that silver piece if that makes sense that's how i adjusted it you don't have to follow my steps of what i did but it was just because i'm not i'm no pro so what i kind of do is kind of ghetto you could call it but it's just how i did it so i just hope that video kind of gave you a help clear explanation if you have any questions do comment in the below i try my best to help you understand or any questions that you have this word this should work for both gs's and is's on lexus's so it should be fine so what i noticed that what i noticed whenever i was doing the the front piece i want to call i didn't realize it was my fault but you can move it to make it go inside it quick better that sounds wrong but I don't know how to describe it. It's, you don't, you don't like really necessarily need a jack. Jack made it a little bit easier for me so I can raise it and adjust it so I can lower it. 
Overall, the install wasn't bad. It took me like two to three hours by myself. It wasn't bad at all. I didn't understand it at first. That's the reason why, because there was no instructions or any videos how to. I just hope you guys learn from it and understand it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'll try to post every week. I try to anyways. My life is kind of boring though, so I'll be uninterested. It won't be just car stuff though. Anything I want to record will be on this channel. So don't just subscribe for my car, but please do subscribe. Maybe you might like my other videos. It may be some content you can use when you go to restroom or something or you're bored. I just hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something from it. See you guys in the next video. Hopefully next week I have something to do. Have any questions, comment it. I'll leave the description down below where I bought mine from. Just, I'm here to help you guys. I'm sorry if this install was really bad to show, ghetto, or anything that I'm not professional. Anyone can tell me how, or a professional can say how bad everything was installed. I'm taking it to alignment shop Thursday. You guys, if you guys do it too, please do go to alignment shop. Thanks for watching. You guys rock. I'll see you in the next video. I could probably get 10 views on this.